I remember walking across this yard on what seemed to be a random day, my head down, lost in my own world of issues, like many of you do daily. I'm almost at the center of the yard. I raised my head and Muhammad Ali was walking towards me. Time seemed to slow down as his eyes locked on mine and opened wide. He's raised his fist into a quintessential guard. I was game to play along with him, to act as if I was a worthy opponent. What an honor to be challenged by the GOAT, the greatest of all time, for a brief moment. His face was as serious as if I were Frazier in the Thriller in Manila. His movements, his movements or flashes of a, of a past greater than I can imagine. His security let the joke play along for a second before they ushered him away. And I walked away floating like a butterfly. I walked away amused at him, amused at myself, amused at life for this moment that almost no one would ever believe. I walked away light, ready to take on the world. That is the magic of this place. Almost anything can happen here. Sometimes you need to get knocked down before you can really figure out what your, what your fight is and how you need to fight it. First, giving honor to the Creator and my ancestors on whose shoulders I stand. It is a great privilege to address you on your day, a day marking one of the most important accomplishments of your life to date. This is a magical place, a place where the dynamics of positive and negative seem to exist in extremes. Great struggle is required to achieve degrees of enlightenment. Each of you had your own unique difficulties with the heel. Even though you made it up the hill, you carry the baggage of rejection with you. But you're here. Or some of you went through something traumatic. You made it to the top of the hill, but, but not without scars and bruises. When completing a long climb, one first experiences dizziness, disor disor disorientation, and shortness of breath due to the high altitude. But once you become accustomed to the climb, your mind opens up to the tranquility of the triumph. Oftentimes, the mind is flooded with realizations that were for some reason harder to come to when you were at a lower elevation. At this moment, most of you need some realizations because right now you have some big decisions to make. Right now, I urge you, in your breath, in your, in your eyes, in your in your, in your consciousness, invest in the importance of this moment and cherish it. Savor the taste of your triumphs today. Don't just swallow the moment whole without digesting what has actually happened here. Look down over what you conquered and appreciate what God has brought you through. Everything that you fought for was not for yourself. It was for those that come after. You could have been disgruntled and transferred, but you fought. I was on a roll when I entered the system of entertainment, theater, television, and film. In my first New York audition for a professional play, I landed the lead role. From that play, I got my first agent. From that agent, I got an on-screen audition. It was a soap opera on a major network. I scored that role too. I felt like Mike Tyson when he first came on the scene, knocking out opponents in the first round. With this soap opera gig, I was already promised to make six, six figures, more money than I had ever seen. I was feeling myself. But once I got the first script, I was conflicted. As the scripture says, I planted the seed and Apollos watered it. But God kept growing. God kept it growing. Yet and still, when you invest in a seed, watching it grow without you, that is a bitter pill to swallow. A bitter pill. Anybody that's ever been fired knows what I'm talking about. 
even if you really don't want the job, when they let you go, it's like any breakup. You act like you don't care. I didn't need that damn job anyway. I didn't need them. But when you have those moments alone, you start to wonder if there was a better way to handle it. And if you could have, if you could have handled it better, maybe you could help your family. And, and then before you know it, you're broke and you find yourself scraping together change just so you can ride the subway so that you can get the next job. And maybe if you could book something else, that would eclipse the feeling of doubt that's building, but it seems like you can't pay them to hire you now. How would I maneuver through all of this? Finally, I thought of Ali in the middle of the yard. In his elder years, drawing from his victories and his losses. At that moment, I realized something new about this, the greatness of Ali and how he carried his crown. I realized that he was transferring something to me on that day. He was transferring the spirit of the fighter in me. Sometimes you need to feel the pain and sting of defeat to activate the real passion and purpose that God predestined inside of you. Purpose crosses disciplines. Purpose is an essential element of you. It is the reason you are on the planet at this particular time in history. Your very existence is wrapped up in the things you are here to fulfill. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. When I dare to challenge the system that would relegate us to victims and stereotypes with no clear historical backgrounds, no hopes or talents. When I questioned that method of portrayal, a different path opened up for me. The path to my destiny. When God has something for you, it doesn't matter who stands against it. God will move someone that's holding you back away from a door and put someone there who will open it for you. If it's meant for you, I don't know what your future is, but if you're willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. Now, this is your time. <laughs> the light of new realization shines on you today. As you commence to your past, press on with pride and press on with purpose. God bless you. I love you.